All right, I'm back with my next treat from Thailand Unique, which is the giant water bug. My camera really is a piece of crap. Anyways, also known as the giant water bug, which I said, uh, water scorpion, water beetle, Meng Da in Thailand, Khao Quang in Vietnamese, and Alucap. I don't remember which country that is from. Looks like it's the Philippines. So, um, just like the scorpions, this is also prepared boiled and dehydrated. Um, scientific name for this particular species is Lethocerus indicus. Um, it's eaten whole, and in Vietnamese cuisine, uh, they also harvest a scent sac in the males that produces pheromones, and they use that as a flavoring. Um, they're also supposedly have a really nasty bite, as you can probably tell from the little pincer-like things it's got on the end there. And it's supposed to inject its prey with a really powerful digestive enzyme that kind of breaks them down so no real danger to humans but it doesn't feel good I can go ahead and crack into this package it's supposed to be one in there and they're pretty big It's not going to win any beauty contests. Turn the auto focus off. Man. And this thing is massive. I don't know if you understand. Like, Here's my finger, let's see. I have my thing. Alright, here's a quarter. And here's it. It's massive. It's got a nice serving of salt on there. Get the autofocus back on. Now I've heard that it can be eaten whole. But I've also heard people say to crack it open and just eat the meat out. And it's supposed to be somewhat like shrimp or scallops. I'm going to take a small bite off of the end and see how palatable it is. I might break it open. Yeah, I'm thinking, go ahead and crack it open. I don't know if you can see that. Let's see. Take the legs off. These have a lot of salt on them. It's going everywhere. My legs off. I don't want to like obliterate it. It's not very easy to get into. the outer wings. The inner wings are kind of papery, they might be. Okay. Mm. It's 
it's actually really tough. hard when it's dehydrated because it's kind of all like that. So here's some meat out of it. a leg and see how that is. No, nope, that's really tough too. Maybe break it open maybe. Yeah, there's some meat in there. making a mess everywhere. I don't really know how to describe the flavor. I don't know if you can see this. Fix the focus. Alright, so that's some meat that came out of the head section. Let's see how that is. Actually. Quite a bit of it. Which I would hope so. It's a pretty big guy. Focus back. Getting kind of a hint of apple. I'm not getting a real strong shrimp taste, which is what I'd heard it described as. this part. And his legs are pretty massive too. I wonder. It's on the quarter. There's some meat in there that you can get out. A piece of shell. Oh, 
overall not that impressed I think having it dried probably works against it since there's so much shell to begin with been able to hydrate it before I chowed down on it. I tend to like my bugs crispy. I would like to try it again fresh. I don't know that I'd try it dried again. Perhaps. There's a little Vietnamese market in town. I might be able to get some of the uh, extract from the scent glands from there and see how that is. I love to go to Thailand or someplace and try them. They typically serve them fried there, so I'd love to try them that way. But I don't know that I'd try them like this again. I mean, there's a lot of it that just you wouldn't want to munch on. It's really kind of just brittle and hard. And not that easy to get into. So far, one point for the scorpions and zero points for the giant water bugs. Try it fresh if you get a chance. Don't try it like this. But yeah, that's the verdict.